everything. St. Luke, and that was a verse that I'm trying to deal with my mind this weekend, and uh, I want you to read and apply it to yourself. Think about what you are reading. The fourth chapter the book of Luke, and I want you to start reading at the 14th verse uh, to the 20th verse, and we'll see what the Lord had to say. You may read. that got my attention was the 18th verse. And I'm going to read it again. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. And he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captive and the recovering of the sight of the blind to set at liberty them that are bruising to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and uh, I'm going to use this first clause the spirit of the Lord is upon me. I, I don't know why you're standing. I don't, can you repeat that? The Spirit of the Lord, the of the Lord is, upon me. is upon me. Can you say it with more emphasis? Put more emphasis on the Spirit of the Lord, the of the Lord is, upon me. is upon me. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Uh, that particular scripture, last few days. Thank you, Michael last few days this scripture have been dealing with me and and, and uh, the writer of this book is one who is very familiar to most of you Bible scholar uh, he's none other than Luke the third gospel writer he was not chosen among the twelve. Amen. He was not selected as Jesus' apostle. Uh, Luke was a native of Antioch, uh, the capital city of Syria. Well, you know what? We have all this problem today. Uh, amen. He was a native of the capital city of Syria. Is where we have a problem today. Our 
President of the United States trying to make a decision whether or not to do something about what is going on in Syria. Now, what is going on in Syria will affect all of us. And, uh, and what uh, our president and congressmen and senators have to deal with is, is something to try to stop what they are doing. They, they're using chemical, biological warfare. Dangerous. And they, they disperse it in the air. They send a missile in the air. And when it reaches its destination, it explodes and let out poison gas, and detrimental gas. And this is what we have to deal with today. Now, they are saying that, uh, I know um, this is di not directly the message. Now, uh, when we look at the picture, uh, they are saying the president ought to do something about it, but no one won't take part in it. So, they are constantly saying that the president or to let the Syrian know that what they have done is wrong. Amen. But nobody wants to join in the help. Stop it. It is said that Congress is the one that, uh, that makes the law for, uh, in order to have a wall. Amen. It had to be, uh, uh, have to go through Congress in order to declare war. Congress have refused, amen, to sign on such thing. And they said, the president ought to do it, go ahead. But now, if he does, but if he does, and something go wrong, it's all on him. When yet they're saying that he'll, so, so likewise, when I look at myself at El Bethel, pastor ought to do this, the pastor ought to do that, but yet no one offer help. They sit idly by. When things are going wrong, they see it, but yet won't do anything about it. That's a sin within itself. Hello, somebody. The president have said on yesterday, I think it was, that even though if Congress does not sign the bill saying it's okay to do what they want to do, that he has the authority. But, but that's dangerous. Even though it said it may prohibit Syrians for, from this burst the, uh, this, 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 this poison of gas that can destroy millions of people. But yet they won't sign. Now, if they doesn't act, it can spread all over the world. Other nations have, 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 have stepped back and said we won't have a part in it. But suppose it. They say, well, America doesn't care. They tell the president they're not with the president. I know you say this is not the message. And the president ought to do it by himself. And if we don't do something, if we do something, we, we're still dangerous. Either way you go, it is dangerous. If he does and it really don't stop him, you got another big problem. They said, now Iran may have a part in this. They perhaps may have some no hidden weapons in our reign. Yeah, who, who, uh, uh, because America is distasteful to America, I mean to the Iranian. Distasteful. They have a bitter taste in their mouth for America. Hello, somebody. Amen, amen. 
But this is where, this is where uh, 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 Luke was from, amen, the capital of Syria. Getting back to the point, if Obama does do something, we better pray. We, we better pray that that they stop whatever they intend to do elsewhere. Now, 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 now that if the Syrian drop that 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 poison bomb on his own people, just think, just think, it, it, would it be a problem? Would it be a problem for the for them to, to drop it anywhere else? If they can do it to their own people? But now Jesus said, you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that your heart be not troubled. For the end is not yet. But when this gospel shall have been preached unto all the world, and then shall he come. Now, 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 the gospel is being preached. And, 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 and nobody's making preparation to meet Jesus. Thank you, brother. No one is making, everybody is at ease in Zion. Just like America is at ease in the president, all they do the president, but everybody got their arms folded. So it is. It, so it is. Jesus said, you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see that you be not troubled because the end is not yet. But when this gospel, nobody not paying attention to the gospel. And the gospel is the only thing that can save you. Jesus said, for he has anointed me. Dedicated him. Set him aside. Sanctified for a particular purpose. That is what? To preach the gospel. That is my one. one. One true gospel that can save lost humanity. Now, uh, uh, I, I listen to you read, say, and, and Jesus returned in power of the Spirit unto Galilee. Returned. Where he had been? Where he, where he had been? Say he returned, that means he had gone somewhere. Huh? He had been somewhere. In order for him to return, that means he had been somewhere. Huh? He had been, he had been uh, 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 around Judah, had been baptized in the river of Jordan by John the Baptist. He was making preparation to do what he said he was going to do. But Amen, before Jesus could do what God had anointed him to do, he had to make extra preparation. So, so he said he returned in power. Why? How, why, uh, why? He had been baptized in the river of Jordan by John the Baptist. Amen, but being baptized wasn't all. It said he was driven into the wilderness by the Spirit. And, and, and he was in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. Making preparation to do what he had to do for lost humanity. And they're still lost. Even though the price had been paid for your freedom. But you don't want to be saved. He, he was in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. He fasted and prayed. That means he didn't eat anything. A a amen. And, uh, and the devil. Now listen, some people think that, well, I pray all the time. That doesn't keep the devil off you because you pray. I pray all the time. Yeah, go on, keep on praying. You're supposed to pray. Jesus said, men ought to always to pray and not faint. Keep on praying. Yeah. 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 But that doesn't keep the devil from attacking you. Yeah. Yeah. You better keep on praying. Yeah. 
the devil was watching Jesus on his praying ground. While on his praying ground. He waited for him. When he, when he got off his knees, I'm going to say it like that. When he got off his knees, he was right there, right there. Uh, waiting on him to attack him. And he did. As soon as Jesus, amen, uh, completed fasting and praying, the devil was right there. Don't think that he's not going to be after you. He, he, you know what? He, he, he doesn't wait on the outside for some of you. He come in with you on the inside. Uh, you, you his road buddy. He, 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 he catch a ride with you. You going in there, I want to go with you. Let me go with you. He, he's your road buddy. And, and that's why you see so many people so, uh, so being so complacent in the house of God when they're supposed to come in to worship him. They can't do it. They can't do it. When Jesus Came out with when he got through praying, Satan was right there. He had fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And the Bible said afterwards he hungered. You, you can't go three hours without getting hungry. <laughs> afterwards he hungered. The devil knows your, your appetite. It's all the time, it's not, it's not bread and meat. He, he knows your appetite. Yeah. Amen. He wait till you get hungry. For whatever. And he knew that Jesus had been there, hadn't eaten anything. Before he, he, ought, he should be if he not. He ought to be hungry. So he approached Jesus. If thou be. If try to put doubt in mind. Now, if he tried to put doubt in Jesus' mind, what about your mind? If he try to make Jesus doubt, what about your mind? If thou be. He knew who Jesus was, but he won't put doubt in mind. If thou be the son of God, may turn these stones to bread. But Jesus had sense enough. He's a man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. The devil didn't stop there. Next, next thing he did, he take him up on a high mountain. He taking him up there for a reason. He had, he had a specific purpose for taking Jesus up on a mountain. Exceedingly high mountain. He wanted to show him something. The Bible says he showed him the kingdom of the world and the glory of them. Everything that glitter and shine. You know, we go at things that glitter, shiny thing. How many of y'all got them diamond rings on? <laughs> and gold on? And, and, and the silver. You polish it up before you got here this morning. It, it make it sparkle. The devil, the Bible said he showed him the, the, the kingdom of the world and the glory of them. The devil have often not only Jesus, but all of us, some of these things that he think we like. 